hello again, I'm Matthew Gore from thewetpen.com, and before I start telling you about this pen, let me just take a moment to appreciate the fabric sleeve that was included for free with this pen. It has some great elephants on it, as you can see, and elephants are pretty much always a plus in my book. Anyway, this pen is the Asa Nauka, which I purchased in matte black ebonite. Asa, or A-S-A, is a pen company based in Chennai, formerly known as Madras, in southeast India. Nauka means boat in several Indian languages. It comes from Sanskrit, but it seems to refer more specifically to these traditional boats that are long and narrow, like canoes. At first, this looks like a pretty standard ebonite pen, but remove the cap, and you can see that its design is pretty unique. Where most pens with twist caps are threaded between the body and the grip section, the Nauka has a smooth, clean taper between the body and the grip, with a narrow threaded ring between the grip and the nib. This design makes for beautifully clean body lines and a very comfortable grip, and the threads act as a natural little barrier between the grip and the nib where many fountain pens have a lip anyway. Just for a comparison, here's what the grip section of the Nauka looks like with a couple of similarly sized black ebonite pens. Here's a Click Falcon, and this is an ebonite Jaipur version 2 from Fountain Pen Revolution. This Click has a plastic feed, and you can see the standard plastic Yovo feed on the Nauka, and this Jaipur has an ebonite feed. On the Nauka, between the grip and the body, there's a fine, nearly invisible line, and that is, of course, where the section unscrews. This pen has a standard international cartridge converter, a Schmidt that can be included for an extra $4 when you order, and it can also be used as an eyedropper fill. The nib is a number 6 Yovo with some swirly decoration, but no Asa branding. And I ordered a Broad. You can choose when you order whether you want them to ink the pen and test out the nib first, or just send it without testing, and since there was no extra charge, I asked them to test it. And the nib is very nice and smooth with good flow. Let me give you a quick little writing sample, starting out on some Ayush paper. This is an Asa Nauka. And this ink is Krishna Sailor Blue from their New Revolution series of inks. Let me try it on some white paper. I think this blue will look better. This is Cosmo Air Snow. So, aside from being comfortable and sharp looking, it writes really well. And the price? Well, the price depends on where you're ordering from, and these pens are made to order. Asa follows the common practice in India of having one set of prices for Indians and another set for foreigners. If you're ordering in India, the pen costs 2,200 rupees, which is about $27, with free shipping. If you order from the USA, the price is $60, still with free shipping via India Post, which takes two or three weeks to arrive. And while I would rather pay $27, this pen is well worth the $60 also. That said, 
the Nauka is not without its flaws. There are two, I'd say. First, my nib is wonderfully smooth, as I mentioned, but it does have a slight baby's bottom. And while that doesn't create any problems with this ink, it is a little bit of a problem with drier inks. A minor issue, but it's there. The issue that I think will bother more people is the number of turns that it takes to uncap this pen. Let me show you. Here, the clip is at the top, so here's one turn, two, three, four, five, six, and a half. For me personally, this isn't a big deal, but I do notice it when I just want to jot down a quick note. And I know that some people are very disturbed by twisting off pen caps, so this pen is probably not for them. And before I wrap this up, I really should mention a few things about the size of this pen. First of all, it's available with a clip or without. And if you do get the clip, it's a pretty good one. Nice and springy, but it doesn't feel flimsy at all, with a ball end. And with a clip, you'll also find a fine line between the finial and the rest of the cap. On the back of the cap, the brand and model are engraved with unobtrusive fine letters. Overall, the pen is 15 and a half centimeters long, so it's just slightly larger than average. Let me show you a few others for comparison. Here's a new Jinhao X159, which is a moderately large pen, and they're not too different in size. Here's a Twisby Eco, just about everyone knows that pen. It's a very average size, I'd say. Now, here's a pen that's larger than average. This is a Runga Abimanyu Grand, and while it's shorter than the Nauka, it's quite a bit thicker. And finally, this is my Diplomat Arrow, which is a little thicker around the middle than the Nauka, though it's shorter, obviously. And I think I'll leave it at that. Some of you have been asking whether I'll be doing the Inkvent calendar again this year, and I just got my green one in the mail last week, and yes, I'm planning on making those daily videos. Hopefully no lost bottles this year. Oh, and if you're interested in the different notebooks that I've been showing in this video, this one with the block printing on the cover, for example, they also come from India. And I'll be talking about these ones and a bunch of others in a future video. But if you're curious in the meantime, I'll leave a link to their website below. If you like that sort of thing, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss future videos. And I can always use another like on any of my videos. They're a big help. And that's it. I'll see you soon with another video about fountain pen stuff. Take care out there, everyone.